so I'm just going to get right into it first you need half an avocado one whole banana one egg olive oil and or coconut oil and a rache butter I smushed everything together and this is the consistency that I got but I decided to put it in the blender to smooth it out a bit more you don't want the chunks to get stuck in your hair and it applies much easier when it's smooth like this so now I'm going to start applying it to my hair I lean over the sink so that it don't get on my body or on the floor I really don't want it to be on my body I smooth it through and twist it up all over and I continue doing that in section so that it's easier oh and I apply it to dry hair as you can see I just continue to add it to each section, smooth it through and twist it up. Whatever was left over, I just added it to my scalp and then I covered it with a plastic cap. Don't know if you guys can see that, but hopefully you can see how soft my hair looks, how moisturized it is, and my curls are so defined. I've never used food like this in my hair before, so I'm yeah, I'm pleased with the results. I just decided to try it on a whim. I didn't know if it actually worked or what. I wouldn't mind it that much because I just don't want it on my body. I don't know. I'm just afraid feet touch me. <laughs> not that it's nasty or anything, but food and egg and avocado, I just don't want it to be touching my body. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just gliding my fingers through my hair. I didn't detangle before I added it, by the way. So basically, my hair is so soft that I can just run my fingers through it like that. And I want to get rid of every single trace of it. So yeah, I rinsed out everything and then um, I told dry. I think it's best to use a t-shirt because the towel causes it's frizz. But as for now, I'll be using a towel. I put my hair in four big bantu knots and then I just went to bed like that. I did a wash and go after but I didn't film it. I'll upload that video hopefully next week.